Hello, and welcome back to our weekly game of news, 10 and 10. This is episode 31 for the week ending October 28, 2017. Nintendo unveils Animal Crossing Pocket at the latest Nintendo Direct event. Nintendo's latest foray into the mobile gaming market is expected to arrive in late November on Android and iOS. The general gameplay and design will be familiar to any Animal Crossing fan. The game will follow the freemium model, whereas it is free to download and start playing with microtransactions to supplement the gameplay. This is what we have come to. An entire Nintendo Direct for a single mobile game. Destiny 2 released on PC this week, and already several hundred PC players have been banned. The players pleaded not guilty, blaming the bans on their use of overlays and or performance tools. Bungie released a statement stating that the bans were reviewed manually and were implemented, and I quote, bans were applied to players who were using tools that pose a threat to the shared ecosystem of the game. In other words, they were cheated. They went on to say that they did not and will not ban players for using overlays or performance tools. November Games with Gold announced by Microsoft. November's Hall brings Trackmania Turbo and Tales from the Borderlands complete season, which includes episodes 1 through 5 for the Xbox One. The Xbox 360 titles are Nights into Dreams and Deadfall Adventures. As normal, both Xbox 360 titles are playable on the Xbox One. After seven years, Microsoft bids farewell to the Kinect. They have announced they will cease manufacturing the Kinect camera and that once current stock is sold through, that will be it. Released during the motion control craze, the Kinect never seemed to find a place outside of a niche or two in gaming. The writer has been on the wall for some time, starting when Microsoft unbundled it from the Xbox One to more recently removing the dedicated port from the Xbox One S and the upcoming Xbox One X. While the Kinect seems to be heading off to the sunset, its technology will live on in various forms, from the HoloLens to Microsoft's Mixed Reality Glasses platform, even to iPhone X's face recognition feature. Konami is working on a live-action Contra movie and TV show with Chinese production company Starlight Film. No details have been released as of yet, but both are being developed for a worldwide release. In a press statement, Konami noted that the project represents a strive to use its library of IPs for more than just game development. FIFA and EA collaborate on E-World Cup with the championship taking place in August of 2018. Players will be able to qualify based on the FIFA Ultimate Team performance and live qualifying events that will run from November 2017 through July 2018. During this period, 128 players will be selected based on performance, with 64 players each for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to compete in the EA Sports Global Series playoffs, ultimately leading to the E-World Cup in August. EA shuts down fan-run servers that were supporting older Battlefield titles. After the 2014 shutdown of GameSpy, Battlefield 2, Battlefield 2142, and Battlefield Heroes lost online support. That's where Revive Network came in. There are a group of volunteers that were keeping online servers running for diehard fans of these games. They had bowed to a cease and desist from EA's legal team. At the time of the letter, Revive Network had touted nearly a million registered users, including close to 175,000 users playing Battlefield Heroes. Just in time for the holidays, digital cards come to Steam. You can now sponsor Steam spending sprees. You'll only be able to send funds to people that you have been friends with for over three days. Once that is established, a send money option will appear on their profile. The gift cards come in denominations of $5, 10 25 50 and $100. You can buy them using any major credit card, Bitcoin, or PayPal. Once purchased, the funds will appear directly in the recipient's digital wallet. 2018 EVO Championship has been dated returning to Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas and running August 3rd through August 5th. You can start scheduling days off and booking your trip now. With that, the final lineup has not been released, but expect to see it early next year. And Fallout continues for NeoGAF as many of the former NeoGAF members banded together to launch a replacement form, aptly named Reset Era. Among the admins are well-known ex-NeoGAFers Shinobi, Nabel, 
Zuj E.G., and Emily Rogers. While Neil Gaff has returned to action with posts regarding the controversy dying down, Reset Era, which just launched, has nearly as much activity. Neil Gaff looks like they will struggle to regain their cachet, if ever. That will do it for this week. Before I go, I would like to mention our sponsor, The New Challengers. If you like fighting games and are looking to get better, The New Challengers is the group for you. With support for Injustice 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Street Fighter 5, and Tekken 7, there's something for everyone. Head over to newchallenger.gg for more information and to sign up. Finally, if you'd like to hear more detail on these stories and more, join Trinell and myself for a weekly gaming news show. Live streamed on Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube Sundays at 7 p.m. 